It's time for Donkey of the Day. Donkey of the Day, ask Charlemagne. I'm a Democrat, so being Donkey of the Day is a little bit of a mixed one. So like a donkey. Yeehaw. Okay. Donkey of the Day. <laughs> the Breakfast Club, bitches. Now, I've been called a lot in my 23 years, but Donkey of the Day is a new one. Yes. my mic on. Your mic is on. What's wrong, then? Oh, plug oh, it in. There you go. This is a ghetto-ass radio station. There you go. The cord was out. I had to blow on it. Uh, donkey of the day for Thursday, January 30th goes to Matt Gutman, uh, chief national correspondent for ABC News. Now, Kobe Bryant passed away on Sunday. And when something like that happens, which is, which is a situation that causes people to get very emotional, emotional is an understatement, um, the whole logic of moving off strategy and not moving off emotion, it... it it goes out the window, you know. How can you not be emotional when you hear about a tragic situation like that, you know? When you hear a tragedy like that has happened. So, of course, when you have these devices we call smartphones, our emotions go straight to our thumbs and we just start talking. All right, everybody, humans as a whole, we just start talking. And when you're on social media, it's hard not to be performative, you know. Uh, everyone is confused, emotions are high, and everyone starts displaying whatever emotions they are going through. So even though it's real emotion, it still becomes a performance. People, you know, want to outgrieve each other. They want to show how much Kobe meant to them. You know, I loved Kobe. Well, I loved Kobe more. And then everybody wants to be the person who seems to have all the answers. You know, the person who reports all the breaking news to the timeline and Often when we do that, moving off emotion, we get it wrong because we just start posting whatever we see. This would be fine if you were just a regular social media user, if we didn't put too much stock in it coming from just regular social media users. But when you are an actual member of the media, an actual journalist, it's just dangerous. All right, that's what happened to Matt Gutman. Now, Matt Gutman, chief national, Corres chief national correspondent for ABC News, reported that all four of Kobe Bryant's children were on board the helicopter that crashed on Sunday. Of course, that wasn't true. Uh, sadly, one of his kids perished in the helicopter crash, 13-year-old Gianna, RIP to that young queen. Uh, Matt Gutman apologized for that error, but an apology in a situation like that doesn't seem like enough, but let's hear it anyway. Earlier, I reported that it was believed that four of Kobe's children were on that flight. That is incorrect. Unfortunately, uh, this is a horrible tragedy, and one of his daughters was on the helicopter at the time. Um, and I apologize uh, for those remarks earlier um, about Kobe's family on that helicopter. You, you can't just get that one wrong mm -hmm. and then turn around and apologize for it, okay? Journalists, news correspondents, people who get paid to report the facts, Learn to measure twice so you only have to cut once, okay? This isn't about algorithms or analytics or likes or retweets or traffic to your website, increasing your social media followers. These are real-life events, real people. The trauma that comes from some of these stories can literally kill others. What if you're a grandparent or an aunt or an uncle or a sibling and you hear these false stories online, you know, and, and have an anxiety attack or a heart attack? Like, news like this can literally hurt people, literally kill people, but you are wrongly reporting these heavy tragic stories like meteorologists wrongly reporting the weather okay only person more inaccurate than a meteorologist is a news correspondent on social media now matt gutman has been suspended in fact an abc news spokesperson released a statement saying uh reporting the facts accurately is the cornerstone of journalism i agree matt gutman's reporting was not accurate and failed to meet our editorial standards in quote well it feels good to know that there are still outlets who feel that way because i i can't tell sometimes i didn't know it was a standard anymore when we see actual news outlets reporting things that they heard on social media i have to ask why <laughs> you're supposed to be the expert so why are you reporting something you heard on social media from some random twitter account to me and i'm not a journalist so take this with a gram of cocaine all right instead instead of trying to be first focus on being right all right. That's what will separate you from everybody else in this media journalism game. Don't be first. Be right. See, I'm not a journalist. I'm a multimedia personality. So I get paid to talk and give my opinion of the things that are out there. OK, uh, the opinion. I give my opinion on the things that are out there. So what I do is, you know, I go to who I think is the most trusted, reliable news source. And it's not too many of those out there nowadays. So the outlet that decides, you know, what we are going to focus on uh, reporting is right as opposed to reporting it first that outlet is going to win because they're going to be a news outlet that people can truly trust now yesterday on my ig page i posted a woman named lindsey granger lindsey was on the daily blast live and she spoke on journalism and the the, the lack thereof in regard to handling kobe's passing she was speaking from the perspective of people who were attempting to use kobe's worst day 
uh, as a referendum on their on on his character in regards to Kobe being accused of sexual misconduct back in the day. Uh, I encourage you to go to Lindsey Granger TV and watch the whole three minute clip because it's brilliant. And I really enjoy straight no chaser commentary like hers. But I want to close with some of her perspective on just journalism because she used to be a journalist. I believe she still considers herself one because it is in her IG bio. But these are some points that she made about journalism and the role of journalists. So Lindsey Granger, the floor is yours. As a journalist, it's our job to objectively report the news. You have the responsibility and you need to have the journalistic acumen to write the full story. We're in a time where we don't know what journalism is, is anymore. We have our president that attacks journalists. We have TMZ that broke the news to Vanessa Bryant that her husband passed away. You know, what are we doing now that we need to look at ourselves, people who call themselves journalists? We need to do better all together as journalists. But I really think that as a journalist, if you're going to take that name and that stance and that dignity of a position, you should properly do it properly and just try to tell the complicated story with as much care as possible. That's right. Please give all Matt please give Matt Gutman and all the news correspondents and journalists who failed a measure twice so they only have to cut once the biggest hee haw. I'm I'm telling you the the news outlet that decides or just media outlet that decides that they're gonna focus on reporting it right as opposed to reporting it first, that outlet is gonna win. Absolutely. <clears throat> All right. Well, and I just want to be clear, like ABC News or whoever is reporting news, that's different than the rumor report. Somebody hit me and said, it's interesting to hear you criticize outlets for uh, sharing rumors during your rumor report. But It's called a rumor report. Right. That's what it is. <laughs> right. it's, it's not the news. It's not a news report. If it was a news report, that would be different. But Angela E does a rumor report. Yes. Rumor. Okay, it's not an actual fact like Envy's hair being fake. No, my you know no, saying? that's not that's not true. You're lying. The whole rumor report is alleged. My hair being real. I saw you in the fact. barbershop. And what did you see, sir? I saw Johnny putting a piece on. No, you did. Shut up, man. I didn't see. Now what? Johnny was putting a piece. Johnny on. Johnny was not putting no piece in my hair. Right, okay. Is this a news report or a rumor report? This is a rumor this is report. What I saw with my own eyes. This is a rumor report. I am the black eye witness. Donkey today is brought to you by the law office of Michael S. Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey. Dial pound 250 on your cell and say the bull if you've been hurt in a construction accident. That's pound 250 from your cell and say the bull. <laughs> 